Hello Chocks and Chocettes, no one in between, Chocolate Woods here for a very special review this time. We've got the Terry's White Chocolate Orange Minis. Yes, look at that, very special, yes, very special. I've been looking forward to these for a long time now. Um, you know, I think Scotty and Andrew Winton in the uh, Discord chat were mentioning this for a long time, saying, you know, uh, they were coming out and... Um, I know and Andrew's... Been <laughs> basically, he's missed the, uh, Terry's White Chocolate Orange for about... I don't know, 10 years, you know, he's basically, ever since I started this channel, he's been telling me how much he wants it to come back. <laughs> and there is the white chocolate, the full white chocolate orange experience as well, is available as well, and we will be reviewing that soon. Um, the moment I'm doing this one. <laughs> yeah, so he's very happy, of course, he's very happy. Um, I've not heard from him for a while now, because I think he's just been too busy eating constantly. Um, <laughs> these things, or pinching himself that it's not a dream, one or the other, or both. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, basically, yeah, I think the gist of it is um, Terry's did a white chocolate orange a few years back um, and, they, and they've kind of just gone off the boil for a while, really, and there was a lot of controversy when they made the segments smaller. The segments in the actual orange are still smaller. You see, I'm not reviewing this at the moment, but they've still got this lip. You can probably make out there. It reduced the weight of the chocolate as well. So it went from 175 grams, I think it was, 174 grams to, um, to 147. They sort of switched those digits round, either you know, coincidentally or, I don't know, you may put your mind, but um, yeah. Um, so basically, you know, for a long time they've been a bit rubbish, uh, but recently, you know, they've been bought out by another company, I think it's Karen Bear, I think they're called, or something like that. Um, and they um, and basically just rebranded them, they've released a few limited edition things, or special edition things, the Cranberry one they did recently, which was, I really enjoy. Um, and they've come back with these orange ones, and they've done a biscuit one as well. A chocolate orange with biscuit in, which I'm very excited about. I've not got hold of it yet, but I'm looking out for that one. But I did get hold of these for Morrison's. Yeah, I don't know if they're available anywhere else, but Morrison's have them. Well, you know, if, you know, if you're lucky to get them, they probably start out quick. Um, yeah, so I definitely would dash off now. <laughs> After you watch the review, of course. Speaking of which, I've done about um, 650 reviews now, if not more. Um, so in this corner there'll be a link to a playlist of all of those, so feel free to watch those after you watch this and like and subscribe, of course. And I've got a Patreon and um, a YouTube membership um, option going on as well, so uh, please uh, check those out if you can. There'll be links here or in the description or both. Um, yeah, so please check those out. And if, you're, if you're able to support the channel, it'd be hugely appreciated. It really would. <laughs> okay, on to the review. Yes, I'm very impressed with the look of this. I think it looks really nice. I like the packaging, I like the colour, it's a creamy white colour. Very evocative of the white chocolate. Um, yeah, very excited about actually having white chocolate orange flavoured, well, orange flavoured white chocolate. Very, I mean, I think in the in the sensation, sort of selection box they did, or selection pack, they did have like a half milk, half white chocolate one at one point, but I don't think they have it anymore. Um, but of course it wasn't full white chocolate, so yeah, very interesting. And I don't think this is a limited edition, even doesn't say limited edition, so, hmm, very nice. This is made with real orange oil. Don't really know how much orange oil there. That's the thing. I always say that, but you know, it could be one drop of it. And is that a lot? Is that not much? I don't know. It's got a reseal thing going on here as well. I think there. Still yet to really use those. <laughs> but it does say it's a yeah a big pack to share. But um, hmm, not sure we'll be doing that. Be able to open. Reclose the sticker to maintain orangey freshness. <laughs> it says yeah. Basically, the description is white chocolate flavored with real orange oil. Make it nuts and wheat. This is for vegetarians. The nutritional information per seven segments, 20 grams. So that's roughly, oh, that's, uh, that's, yeah, that's the 20%, I think that is, yeah. That's 20%, yeah, because 140 gram bag. So 10% is 14 grams, so 20% is 28. So seven segments, yeah, so that's uh, a fifth of the pack, basically. So there should be 35 segments. We'll come to that in a minute, and hopefully that's the case. So yes, yeah, so seven segments, uh, 154 calories, 8.6 grams of fat, 5.2 of which are saturates. So there we go. So per 100 grams, if you're interested, it's 550 calories, 31 grams of fat, 19 of which are saturates. Yeah, it says product may suffer some scuffing in transit. I've not seen that before. That's quite nice that they say that. That's fair enough. It's nice that they say it under the barcode. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. So, so there's all the flourish issues. These bags. Always, you know, always only about that much full, really. If if that, you know, and then of course when you take the top off, it makes it look like it's not quite as bad. But with the top missing, you know, you're talking like it's, you know, maybe a third tall or something, rather than, you know, when you move the top, it looks like it's maybe only half full. Um, so it's a lot, you know, a bit of a trick. The package is nice, got nice design. So it's quite plain on that side, but uh, you know, still got that sort of creamy 
Looks good. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. Right, yeah, I think we should. Uh, well, just let I me mean, just look at the segments. They look so lovely, don't they, as well? I have to say, they do they look very nice? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's give it up. I'm very excited for this one. Let's do it. <laughs> right, okay, once we give these uh, Terry's White Chocolate Orange Minis an open. <laughs> yes. By the way, I've noticed they don't call themselves segments, though, um, because obviously they're minis, so they couldn't, probably couldn't really say they're a segment of the actual White Chocolate Orange because they're a lot smaller, so, um, yeah. Unless they could read, but I think the, the Terry's um, Chocolate Sexations selection works. I mean, they are actually the, the right size for um, coming segments of it, so. Okay, so it's got peel to open, so these are conversely opened on the opposite side of the one it says to open at, but uh, you can open that side. It looks like it's one of those where you still need to um, open it slightly, like a pack of crisps. Oh, there you go. Just get my finger in there. There we are. So you can see, uh, oh, that's a lovely, oh, that's a very unusual orange smell. <laughs> mm. so it's basically, yeah, as you imagine, it's a mix of white chocolate and orange. It smells a bit strange, actually, quite fresh, I think you'd probably say. We can see how um, empty the bag actually is, you know. I mean, it's not, you know, you could spread it out and flatten it and things, and it would fill more of the bag, but, but yeah, you can see there. Yeah. So, and bear in mind that there was this bit on top as well. So, you know, you're talking, uh, I mean, you're going from roughly, roughly 17 half centimetres to, again, roughly, six. <laughs> yeah, so it's about a third, like I said. Okay, so see, we were expecting 35 segments in here, so let's have a look if there is. So what they look like as well. It's quite a lot though. Yeah, so said they were to expect some scuffing in transit, which is quite nice that they put that on. Product may suffer some scuffing in transit. So yes, yeah, so they're quite small segments, but uh, hmm. there's no lip on these, you'll notice. They don't lip these ones, like they're the big ones, so clearly. Yeah, it's a lovely, yeah, well, I don't know if I'd say lovely, it's a, a very... I don't know, it's probably an acquired smell. <laughs> hmm. There's a smell coming from them, it's an odd smell. Let's give them a measure anyway, they're all the same size. So from the uh, side to the middle, it's about 1.9 centimetres. Thickness on the rind side, we say the peel side, about uh, 0.8 centimetres. The thickness on the thin side is about 0.4. And uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so, yeah, so it's plain on one side, which is a bit of a shame. So there's nothing on that side, it's flat. And it says Terry's on the other. And uh, you can see there's like a peel. You can see the sort of, looks like the orange peel effect there on the side, which is quite nice. Yeah, so I don't know if you can actually make a sort of orange out of these. So let's see if you can. <laughs> well, I presume you could. Well, it looks like they'll have a massive hole in the middle, I think. Yeah, so it's kind of <laughs> it would does they don't form an orange. You can see here, you know, I've already made a bit of it. And you can see it's going to form a massive um, hole in the middle. So it's a bit of a shame that it doesn't. Yeah, so it would have a big hole in the middle, you know. Yeah, more suitable for an arch. <laughs> but you can see with more of them the effect of the uh, the peel. On the design, which is quite nice. Hmm. Let's say it's a very sort of. See, I would say it is a very orangey smell. I think the white chocolate does seem to make it smell a bit more orangey, but it's just a bit um odd, you know. <laughs> it just it's just different. I don't know. It does smell a bit citrusy, but maybe a bit fake. I'm not sure. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, that one's got like a big chunk stuck to it. So I don't know what's happened there. I don't know whether they originally in a big blocks and a bit made smaller, I wouldn't have thought so. I think it just melted a bit. Okay, let's see, it should be 35. We expected 35 based on the uh, nutritional information. So let's have a look if there is. Let's see, there might be some broken bits and stuff. Let's we'll see. Yeah, it might be, you know, it might be. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20 35. Yeah, there is 35. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty accurate. That. So bear in mind that there was one, I can't remember it was now, it's one, I think it was an error product, I think, where basically the nutritional information was, was ridiculously wrong. 
this one is literally you know from the from the nutrition information you could um, infer or determine the number of segments in the pack and, and there was that many so that's, that's perfect that's what you want isn't it 5 10 15 20 20 30 35 yeah so there we go perfect and you know when you as I say if you can get this precision you know again it just I, I emphasizes when I complain about the fact that you know either skittles don't give you a, um, an average um, set of colors in the pack or roses and quality street and all the others don't give you the exact same number of chocolates you know or at least make it so it's fair you know in one way or another so, yeah so you know annoys me okay right well very nice i think um yeah i don't think this we obviously can snap one in half it's just gonna be solid white chocolate as you expect yep a bit closer <laughs> yeah so i think we've got to give these a taste very excited Let's do it. <laughs> okay, once I give these uh, Terry's white chocolate orange uh, minis a taste, yeah, very excited for these ones. Yeah, so thanks again to Scotty and uh, Andrew Winton um, for um, putting me onto these, really. And uh, yeah, hope uh, hope you like them, Andrew, and of course um, Scotty as well. But I know Andrew's been looking forward to these for a long, long time. So <laughs> fingers crossed they've <laughs> lived up to his expectation. Uh, okay, yeah. So um, yeah, let's uh, give it a taste. <laughs> Mm. Very strange taste. It really gives it like a like the smell tastes it smelt very sort of orangey, very citrusy. The the taste comes across that as well. It has a very orangey taste, you know, it really does. It's a strange one. Because of the white chocolate taste as well. It just seems to bring it up more. See that one by the way is a bit scuffed on the side. It was saying before. You may suffer some scuffing. Some of the little lines on them, but um, hmm. I think the white chocolate really helps for some reason bring out the orange um, taste. They seem to just have a lot more fresher taste to them. It doesn't really taste of white chocolate, it just tastes very strongly of orange. It's a very strange one. It really seems to um, make it taste more like an orange. Hmm. At first, when you taste it, you think it tastes a bit artificial, and it probably does to an extent, but um, well, it will do really. But hmm, but it doesn't really. After after a few moments, you really start thinking this tastes really fresh. It doesn't really taste a white chocolate at all because of the orange oil, orange flavouring on both. You know, it says orange oil. I assume that's the only flavour they use. Um, it really tastes strongly like orange. I mean, it really does. Obviously, with a you know, some kind of white chocolate persuasion there as well, but um, you know, it's very odd, yeah. These are really nice. I think it's a really, at least these, these evoke an orange a lot more than the um, milk chocolate ones. To the point where it amazes me that they've not really released this properly before, you know, properly. I, mean, I know they did a limited edition one a while ago. I mean, hmm. You do get, you know, it does start to sort of, you know, you do, there is, a, there is, it does taste of white chocolate to an extent as well. I mean, it's not, you're not eating, you know, an orange, you know what I mean? So it does have a sort of creamy taste to it. And it does, it does put that sort of catch in the throat a bit like white chocolate does for me at least anyway, as well. But um, it's really fresh. It's a, it's a really lovely orange taste. As I say, to the point where I can't really believe that they're not taking advantage of that before. I mean, it's, um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, it just it just seems so obvious. It really tastes like, you know, well, I don't know, I don't know what the, I can't remember the one previously anyway was. It was like, so maybe they've just refined the recipe or whatever this time. But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's a staggeringly good achievement to get it tasting this orangey. Hmm. The, the white chocolate really does lend itself perfect. I, I can't, you know, it's um, it smells like that as well. When you first open the bag, you get that smell. It really, really, really does smell, um, so sort of citrusy. I know, Angie. I mean, it tastes, you know, it smells a bit sort of. You think, well, is it, you know, is it a bit fake? And you know, you could say, well, maybe it tastes a bit. It smells a bit fakey, but it doesn't really. It doesn't. Not enough, it's more on the side of authenticity, I think. And it's the same with the taste, you taste it, you think, well, I'm not eating an orange here. 
is it, is it just a fake taste? And of course it is a fake taste, but you, you go on the side of it tastes authentically like an orange, you know, and um, after a couple of bites, a couple of segments. It's a staggeringly good achievement, this. It really is. Mm. It's probably the best um, chocolate orange taste I've ever had, really. Honestly. Mm. I don't know whether it's the nicest chocolate orange taste I've had, because the, the, the Terry's chocolate orange sensation, well, sorry, the yeah, chocolate orange sensations are, are lovely. Um, I love those um, selections, which is the same company again. <laughs> uh, not quite as good as it used to be. They're a bit too sweet in some of them now. Um, you know, but they're still really nice. But this, but as a, actually tasting like chocolate orange, or you know, an orange in chocolate form, this, uh, yeah, it's unparalleled. Um, mm. you know, they're, they're really. It's a staggeringly amazing achievement. Why it's took them so long. To re bring these out, re release them. I don't, I'll say, I don't know if it's the same recipe as last time, maybe it's slightly different. I don't know. Maybe it didn't taste these good last time, I'm not sure. But um, <clears throat> Andrew will have to let me know in the comments and anyone else has had it, of course. <laughs> but yeah, it's staggering. It's honestly staggering. It's that that good. If, as I say, if you're a white chocolate fan, well, the, as I say, the white chocolate taste is not the center point here, it's more the orange taste, but the medium the white chocolate provides to give you that. Um, Orange taste is just fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Staggeringly good. Mm. Staggering. I mean, it's a 5 out of 5, no question. No question. It gives you everything you'd, you'd want. Everything. It's it's a perfect chocolate orange taste. Um, more more authentic, or more tastes more like an actual orange than the, the actual milk chocolate one does. Um, it's so fresh, the taste is so citrusy, and the smell is so citrusy. Um, mm. And they look really nice as well, you know. Yeah, very impressed with these ones. I think if you're a white chocolate fan, if you're a white chocolate fan, as I say, I think you've got to really like the orange flavour, you know, to be honest with you, because that's, that really is so dominant here. You don't really taste white chocolate as such, even though it is there. The, cho the orange flavouring is so strong um, that it is more about that. So... I can't say it's a guaranteed hit for white chocolate fans, but definitely worth checking out. But chocolate orange fans, honestly, if you like orange flavoured chocolate, or in any way, shape or form, or orange and chocolate, even normal orange is covered in chocolate, <laughs> if you like that, <laughs> um, definitely seek these out because I've, I've not tasted anything um, chocolate orange wise as good as this ever. It's fantastic. Five out of five for sure. I can't think of, I don't think... Maybe I'll come up with some later, but I can't think of any negatives. Um, it, it really is. Other than the fact that maybe you might think maybe it's slightly fake, either smell or taste. It's it, it maybe it's on the border. I don't know. But for me, we after after a couple of five seconds of just thinking about it, it, it really went quite quickly towards the authentic smell. It really and taste. It really it really ticked all the boxes for me. But I can see it might slide the away for some people. So that might be the only negative I can think of. Um, for the moment at least, as I say. But um, yeah, 5 out of 5. Magical. <laughs> magical. Yeah, magical. And I can't wait <laughs> to do this one. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> Whew, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think if you had this as well. If you think it's as good as I do. Hopefully you do. Um, and Andrew, of course. I know you've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Fingers crossed, <laughs> you like it. <laughs> um, yeah, leave a comment for everyone. Um, it's always good to hear from me, really. Is. I'll always reply. Um, you know, and uh, yeah, um, home to Instagram, Patreon if you can, um, YouTube member program as well, of course. And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>